Hey there, Jeff. It's Robert Robbins, golf professional at the Corolla Light Resort. Saw your videos on YouTube this morning and wanted to take this opportunity to send you this online lesson. Some key points that we need to address in your golf swing is number one, seat posture. You'll notice I've outlined the position of your spine at setup. It is in the shape of a C. And certainly limits the range of motion in your torso. The second aspect of your golf swing that needs some attention is certainly ball position. As we discussed this morning, um, in any sport where we're striking an object, uh, the object being hit is certainly in front of the head at impact. You ask the question, how do I get my head behind the golf ball during my golf swing? And my response to that would be the most efficient way to be behind the ball at impact is to start out with the head behind the ball at setup. I'm now going to put your golf swing into motion. Let's pay very close attention to the right leg and right hip. You'll notice in the video on the left, the right leg is completely straightened. Um, and the right hip in the video on the right has slid across the sway line. This sort of position in a golf swing certainly affects spine angle. You'll notice at the top of the golf swing, your spine angle has completely changed. Not only has your spine angle changed, but there is curvature in the lower back. This sort of position at the top of your golf swing will most certainly cause an injury at some point in the lower back. This sort of position is not only a concern in ball striking, but it is a major concern in terms of injury in the golf swing. I'm now going to go to the impact position. You'll notice the hips have completely come off of the orange line that was drawn at setup 90 degrees down from the hips on the left. This sort of move in a golf swing is referred to as early extension. Early extension is most certainly a loss of club head speed. I'm going to go back to the setup position. You'll notice I've drawn a blue line straight up the shaft of the golf club. I'm going to put the golf swing into motion once again and you'll notice the golf club is being swung underneath the blue line. This playing a role along with physical limitations. This playing a role in the sway and loss of spine angle. I'm now going to put up a video of Mark O'Meara on the left. We're going to put the golf swings into motion once again. Notice Mark O'Meara's head is certainly not in front of the golf ball. You'll notice at this point in the golf swing the hip is inside of the sway line as it is at the top of the golf swing. Because of this Mark Gamera can maintain his spine angle. At impact, Mark O'Meara's head is at worst on top of the golf ball. It is certainly not in front of. So that's about all I have for you for now, Jeff. To recap the things that were discussed. We want to first pay very close attention to seat posture. Head set up. Let's also pay very close attention to ball position. The head should never be in front of the golf ball 
it's set up. In terms of stability in the lower body, unfortunately I can't give you a physical assessment online, uh, but again I would encourage you to seek out a TPI professional trainer, or even better, come visit me at the Corolla Light Resort. And finally, let's pay very close attention to takeaway in our golf swing. The golf clubs certainly should not get behind the body. So again, that's all I have for you for now, Jeff. Um, good luck to you with this, and I hope to see you soon.